how big is that win in context of where you guys are at with the division right now? I mean, every game at this point has is, is got to be so huge. Yeah, I mean, we knew it was going to come down to the wire at the beginning of spring, and we get off to a good start, and uh, it's just this is the way baseball works, and uh, every game right now is definitely more more meaningful, quote unquote. But the way we prepare is as if we were playing any other game. Yeah, I remember Bonds doing it, Sammy and McGuire. Yeah, it was uh, McGuire and Sosa was vague, but Barry Bonds breaking it was, I mean, seeing him hit it and put his hands up and his son being at home plate. Um, but, I mean, having a front seat on the on-deck circle for most of these has been has been amazing. And you've done a lot as a hitter, uh, but to see Aaron... You know, not just hit 55 home runs, 56 home runs, but to still be going up you know, in terms of trajectory, in terms of how well he's hitting. What's that like for you to see in late September? It's just, it's incredible. He just, the, the thing is, is that you would never know. You would not know he's walking around with 60 home runs under his, under his belt. Uh, he just comes in and does his work and goes about his business. And um, that's, that's the beauty of him is, the times he wouldn't do well or hasn't done well, you would never know. And when he's going like he's pretty much done all season, you, you can't really tell. Anthony, I apologize if you were asked this already, but Aaron Boone said he thinks the only reason that Judge did the curtain call is because he didn't really want to disrupt you and your preparation for your at-bat. Do you agree with any of that? Um, yeah, I, I just I did say that I was because I looked at Dan Bellino and I was like, and he looked at me, he's like, yeah, I'm like, I don't know if he's going to take it. <laughs> Because we are down, and that's the type of teammate he is. And, and you know, I gave the bell to G tonight, and I said, "This is the way you would want it," because that's how selfless he is. And uh, you know, a walk-off grand slam or 60 home runs—it's a tough, tough decision there. And uh, but it's just—it's—it's it's awesome. I'm happy he did it here. I hope he hits the next one here and the one after that here as well. It's, it's a special place to do it. He's such a team guy. You know, when when you see him hit that 60, is there almost that extra motivation for you guys in the dugout to try and get that one even more so? Obviously, you're in the pennant race, but knowing he would want that 60 to come in a, in a win? Um, no. I, I think we're all always motivated. Um, I think when he hit it, it energized us for sure. Um, just seeing someone hit 60 home runs live is just it's incredible. But the way this team is, I, I don't... I think we're just we're always trying to scratch and claw. Judge is it, unbelievable in his own way, but you have have you ever seen somebody hit more bullet line drive home runs than John Carlos Stanton? <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean it was. Uh, I don't know what the exit velocity on it was, but it was. I hope whoever caught it had a glove on because I was coming in hot.